are here doing a little bit of a Prince Harry pub crawl in honor of the royal wedding, Prince Harry marrying Meghan Markle, and I'm here with Jose, general manager of Eclipse. Hi. Hi, Jose. Uh, tell me what area of London we're in, because I still don't have my bearings. We are in Chelsea. In Chelsea. South West London. Okay. And Prince Harry used to come here back in his youth, is this true? Yeah, he used to come quite often. Okay, maybe even sat at this very table. So how does a royal just go out to a bar? Jose says Harry would show up with security and a small group of friends. I mean, he used to be always talking to women. He was a very like, well known for being a ladies man, so he was always flirty. According to Jose, Harry liked cocktails made with vodka and gin and... So you have a signature shot here. And what is it called? It's called Crack Baby. The Crack Baby shot. <laughs> what is in the Crack Baby shot? The Crack Baby shot is got vodka, passion fruit puree, chambord, which is a raspberry liqueur and some champagne. It's quite an amazing drink. It was originally invented here. So did Prince Harry take a Crack Baby I'm shot sure or two? I'm sure he did more than one, for sure. <laughs> People normally have a 10 at least. But Harry's getting married now. These days, Jose sees him shopping or jogging in the area, not partying. And you guys have come up with a drink in celebration of Harry and Meghan's wedding, the Melon Sparkle. Tell me about the Melon Sparkle. Yeah, so we have, I mean, our most famous drink for the last 20 years is a watermelon martini. And then we just basically twist it a little bit and have it with a gin, which is a British product with a little bit of sugar, and then just shake it with lots of love. We're gonna blow it out and give it a drink, the Melon Sparkle. Oh yeah, let's do it. Cheers to Harry Cheers. and Meghan. Oh yes. Oh yes, you can feel the alcohol. I love it like they love each other. <laughs> you guys are really making our work day fun. Okay, perfect. So let's do a crack baby shot. And I take this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, you can zip it, but it's better the whole thing. Okay. And maybe one more for the road. Hey, when in London. Our stops are all close to Kensington Palace, where Will and Kate live now, and Harry and Meghan will live too. Stop number two on our Prince Harry pub crawl is Bumpkin, where not only did Prince Harry party, but Will and Kate as well. Amy Cahill, manager here at Bumpkin, we are taking a look back at the places that Harry used to go when he was a little more single, a little bit more of a partier, and we've heard that here at Bumpkin, you even served him. I did. He was very friendly, <laughs> quite outgoing, very polite, everything was pleased and thank you. Okay, so I'm touching someone who has touched Harry. <laughs> Amy, this makes you on another level. <laughs> when you get that call, do they call you and say, Prince Harry is coming? They won't mention in particular. They will say a member of the royal family. Oh. So then you can use your imagination from there. And they obviously don't want you to leak anything to the press. So I think this is one of the reasons they don't specifically tell you which royal. How did you react to the news that he was settling down and settling down with an American actress, Meghan Markle? It was peculiar, actually, because Harry was known as a party animal. But I guess, obviously found the love of his life. <laughs> Bumpkin came up with two royal wedding weekend drinks, the Harry and the Meghan. So this is the Harry. It's a gin-based cocktail. Very light and refreshing. And of course, this is the Meghan, made with American whiskey. So we're representing our two nations here. Gin, British, American whiskey for Meghan. I love that. All right, well, let's cheers to Harry and Meghan. And to you, Amy. Bumpkin is really feeling the royal wedding fever with their decor, so we had to get Bumpkin at Bumpkin. Nice to meet you. <laughs> We're just having a moment. Uh, guys, after a couple crack baby shots, a Harry and a Megan. I'm a little bit done with this pub crawl. I'm not sure if I can handle things like Harry, so we're gonna call it, but head over to etonline.com where we have so much more on Harry and Megan's favorite spots all over London. You can get the inside scoop. <laughs> Bye.